Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brandi Chang for the Red Carpet Report. We're here at the season three premiere of Husbands. We're talking to the cast and finding out that what happens in Vegas doesn't always stay in Vegas. Oh, Red Carpet Report. Yes. We're You've been here before. before. We have been here before Hello. and we're so glad to be back. How does it feel? thrilled. I'm so excited because this really is our best season yet. I'm so excited to show this to you guys. It's been in the can for a little while. We're, I'm so thrilled that we're going to finally premiere it and show it to the world because this one is really special. I think it is the, and the they've topped themselves. Brad and Jane wrote the best script to date. It's a wonderful story about uh, Brady and Cheeks basically renewing their wedding vows and uh, we have wonderful guest stars in this episode. Amy Acker, Beth Grant, Michael Hogan, Seth Green, and some cameos from people from the Husbands universe that maybe you've seen before. So uh, I'm just really excited to have it out there to show you guys. What guest stars uh, are you guys maybe working on? It's all in the very sub Rosa. We don't tell anybody. It's all in the DL. Oh, let me see. A Barbara Streisand. Yeah, and you know, I'm sure that that's in the talking stages, but I actually hear she's gettable. So. No, I mean, I hear she acts a little still, so we're, we're, we're hopeful. Fingers crossed. Do you have a favorite moment from working on the show this season? Well, you know, there's a moment in the preview. Have you seen the preview for the new season? Okay, there's this moment, there's this wonderful scene between Amy Acker and Brad um, where she's trying to sort of intimidate him. And there's this moment where she puts her head on his shoulder and he emits this little cry, this whimper, that is one of the funniest things. I had to like bite my lip not to laugh at it. It's, it really, that, and there's a moment actually, there's a scene between Michael Hogan and uh, Sean Hemian in this, that is just a, just a beautifully written scene that I just love. Just the, the, the chemistry between the two actors is wonderful. So those are my favorites, but there's a couple other little surprises in this I think you'll like. In Vegas, that uh, you could share with us that may have been a little bit crazy. Um, let's see, personal Las Vegas moments of my own. Do you know? Um, let me think. Okay, on my first trip to Los Angeles, I was driving cross country with a friend of mine, and we had very, very little money, so every penny we had was translated into mileage. So I gave him a 10, and I said, we passed through Las Vegas, I gave him a 10, I said, go into the casino, buy 10 $1 chips, pull the lever, and whatever happens, we're walking away, okay? If you lose all 10 of them, we're walking away. If you hit a million dollars, we're taking the million and walk away. He goes into the casino, he's gone for half an hour. He's gone for half an hour, and he comes out with this dopey look saying that on the first pull, he won $100, and then he lost it all resist the allure of the city. What are you going to do? What do you think about this show that people are not going to resist? What qualities about it? Oh, I think the, the affection that these actors have for one another and the enjoyment that we all had making this show, I think, is infectious. I mean, the comparison I always draw is when you listen to the first B-52s album, you can tell what a great time they had making the record. I think when you watch this show, you can tell what great time we had making it. I think that comes across because we, it's just, it was a, you know, it was a love fest making this thing, and I hope that that comes across on screen. Definitely. Well, I'm very excited to watch it tonight. Cool. Enjoy. And congratulations. Really again. nice meeting you. Nice Thanks meeting. for coming. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more interviews. And leave me a comment below and tell me what is your favorite sitcom. Mine is Friends.